All right. Well, good morning, everyone. This is Julie Moeller from Brentwood, California, and I'm very honored to be on this call today uh, to to help with our business training. You'll have to forgive me. There's a little background noise. I'm not sure if you hear that. I'm at a hotel in Northern California here because uh, we're doing a Super Saturday, so I'm actually going to do this prior to that, and I'm actually setting it up so it won't be a long training today. We'll be able to get off sooner than usual, um, but I'm very honored to be on this and just to want to uh, give you a heads up. Um, when I first heard about Relive 15 years ago, my, uh, you know, really my story started with my son. I'd like to share a little bit about his story, especially for those that don't know me, but my son was born with uh, cerebral palsy and it's a neurological condition from the brain. It affects the motor skills, so I was looking for answers for his health. And my whole family, actually, um, I kind of took our health for granted um, because we never really had any special needs until my son came along. Well, after two major surgeries, the second one was supposed to help my son walk. It actually put him in a wheelchair full time. So that was a defining moment for me to see if there's something more that we could do for his health. His physical therapist was concerned for him. And a good friend of mine was the one that introduced me to this. Believe it or not, she was shaking up her shake in the kitchen when I asked her, what are you doing? And she told me where she'd heard about it and connected me with the right person that uh, then led me to a presentation. And from there, I was very willing to get my son started. It just, the stories really got me. And I'm just grateful that I went because uh, we got. I got myself started within a um, a month. My PMS I'd had all my life disappeared. Um, it, it, you know, for those ladies in the audience, you know what PMS can be like. Well, I, mine was really bad, and I didn't have any of those symptoms. No bloating, no uh, pain, no headaches. It was amazing to me. I thought, wow, if, even if this is the only thing that ever happens, I'll stay on this product. And with my son, his results were profound. He has had. Um, wonderful results with overall health. He had trouble in school with hand-eye coordination. He wasn't doing well. He had uh, trouble focusing and was being held back, actually. And within a few weeks, even his teachers said, wow, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. And the only thing different was relive. And he started doing homework without my help for the first time in his life. And over time, uh, you know, Dr. Ted's story is what gave me hope. Because Dr. Ted, the origin, original um, doctor behind our nutrition, was uh, wheelchair bound and told he would never walk again and, and never get off his medication. Well, his story was very profound for me, and I just kept remembering and thinking that over time this has got to help. So, yes, within a few years after the nutrition, my son got started, he was able to get out of his wheelchair and walk again. And... Um, I have to be careful not to make it sound like this is some kind of a miracle cure because it's not. But what we do have is the best nutrition, I believe, in our day and age. And this helps the body regenerate and repair itself. And that's exactly what my son experienced, I believe. And that's why he's doing better today than he did uh, when we first years ago. And he continues to see improvements. You know, this is not, this is a work in progress, of course. Um, now, I think that a lot of people come to Relive through the products. I, I'm not sure what the percentage is, but I'm going to guess 90 to 95% are looking for better life, and that includes health. Health is the most important thing for people. They can have all the money in the world, but if they don't have their health, they're, you know, they're, they know they're limited. And so at the same token, we have a business. Without this business, I would have never heard about Relive. And thanks to my friend who was told, if you run into anybody who is interested in hold of me, that was her sponsor. She did the right thing. She connected me to that person. This, this product needs to be explained person to person. And I, I believe that is a big reason why our company has been steady going but not fast. Because these products almost sound too good to be true. In fact, they do sound too good to be true. When you hear about all the results people experience from all walks of life and every age and stage. Uh, so that has truly um, been an um, interesting thing to be able to work in this business and create an income that was able to replace what I was doing. And for so many people out there that are looking for answers, you know, 
I would say that at least half of those people um, are looking, if not more, looking for a way to improve their life through better income. Um, So probably way more than that, actually. I think what I'm talking about really is what are the top issues that people are dealing with, and I'm talking about health and then finances. What I'm saying is half are saying they want better health. The other half are saying I want better finances. So we have something that can help people with both and a lifestyle that they thought they'd never have. Um, And so Relive gives us that hope and gives us that opportunity. And I'll just mention that with my business, I was able to work this very part-time. At first, I only had 10 hours a week. I was running a large child care business, and they were 12-hour days. Um, uh, Up early in the morning at 6 and done at 6, and I was exhausted at the end of the day. I did not have time freedom. Um, yeah, I had good money coming in, but I just, and I also wanted more time with my own children. I felt like I was so spent uh, that I didn't have that flexibility. So I looked at Relive as a way of replacing my income. And at first, though, all I could see was a couple thousand a month, and Relive helped me make that uh, pretty quickly. And then it grew to 5,000 a month. And from there, I was able to close my other business and my highest month over 10000 And today, I'm enjoying a residual income. I've been able to make as high as uh, 70000 a year in this business. And what I love about it now is I do have that time freedom that uh, people think about and they wish they had. And I'm blessed with that. And for me, that's been the best paycheck of all. I've had time for my faith, for my family. And for the things that are important to me, I have flexibility, and I get to really design my days however I want. And uh, that is, to me, just amazing. It's my number one favorite reason why I do Relive, um, aside from the health benefits and the income, is that is that lifestyle. Let me just uh, say to you, too, that you know Relive, I believe, has never, never been in a better place than it is today. And I say that because we have have the long legs, we have the history, we have the clinical studies behind the nutrition, we have the strong leadership in place. We are so blessed to have really being named the first and only nutritional epigenetic company in the world, proven to help the body turn off the bad genes, turn on the good genes, and uh, the fact that we are in the forefront of epigenetics and nutrition that is huge and yet people have not heard about us so what I do is I turn it into a huge positive when I'm talking to people I'll say you know what right now has never been a better time to look at this company for your dreams to come true and (laughs) it is truly remarkable more people are coming around because they are looking and not just our baby boomers but our younger people too they want something purposeful they want something attainable. They want something that's proven. We have all of that in place with Relive. And I'm just going to today talk a little bit about what it takes to really build a serious Relive business. And um, first of all, I'm going to say to you that I'm very thankful for these training slides and this this opportunity to be a part of a, a group of folks that that take their businesses seriously every week because these basic fundamentals of building a business are not just a nice idea. They are essential. So it does, it does start with a vision. I mean, it really, really does. And for me, my vision was at first just to supplement our income. We moved into an area where I really needed to do that if I didn't want to work 12 hour days. But then when I saw a bigger vision of replacing my income, I went for it, and I took, I made some sacrifices for that to happen. Um, but it all starts with our vision. Where do we see ourselves in the future? Where do we want to be in the next year, even six months from now? And where do we want to be five years and ten years from now? And I think about that in light of what I do today. And, you know, another big why that I have is uh, right now is that I have always wanted to help the malnourished around the world. It's always been important to me uh, from the, I remember being five years old and thinking about Mother Teresa and what she 
accomplished and thinking about the disadvantaged. Um, and it just gives me, actually, it does give me the, the chills to think about how we have something right here in our hands. The more we grow our relive business, the more we can give back. You know, we can increase our income to increase our standard of giving, not just our standard of living. And our company is that good. <laughs> it's that good to do that. So it really has to start with where do you want to be in the next year, five years, ten years from now? What is important to you and how are you going to get there? And how can Rela be that vehicle? Well, it all starts with that decision. We make that decision, but we also need to believe to achieve for that to happen. So let's uh, let's move to the next slide. Thank you, Louise, for doing uh, the slides for me and I'm kind of, I'm, I'm not online on the slides, but I can see what you have in front of you. How do you succeed? I started with a vision, and, and really it does, inc- it does mean talking to new people. I mean, without new people, uh, we're not going to build a business. And for us, it can happen so many different ways, but it does start with a list. Um, it starts with who do we know, and, uh, and I, I thought I would do something pretty special because I happen to appreciate some of the leaders that have gone before us that are making really, we're talking large amounts of money in this business with good hearts, people that care. And I had archived a wonderful 10-minute call done by Mindy Jones, one of our top leaders in the company. And just 10 minutes of her talk has really, I think, is every element of what it means to build a serious relive business. So what I like to do is get that going um, because it's going to start with with the list. So I'm going to put you on hold and I'm going to get her call going. It's about 10 minutes of information. You'll want to take your notepad out and take some notes. This is This is a great call. One moment. And uh, or, you know, listen to them throughout the week. So let's get started here. Uh, let's talk about the first module, which is identify. Because if you don't have people to talk to, <laughs> you don't have a business. And I remember when Tom Pennock, who sponsored me, came to me and he said, Mindy, he said, your, your list is your paycheck. And I said, Tom, well, you know what? I want a big paycheck, so I'm going to make a big list. <laughs> and the first thing that I did is I went out and I bought a spiral ring notebook. And I still have a spiral ring notebook to this day. And in the front of it is my list. I have pages and pages of names. And then as I meet people throughout the week, I tape their card in there, and then I make little notes um, under each person that I meet. But, you know, put everybody you can think of on the list. Even if you don't want to contact them now, just get it out of your mind and on paper. You know, your family, your friends, people that you work with, people that you go to church with, people that you are connected with through social media. Uh, if you have children, people who you have met through your children's activities, you know, people that you meet through daily activities, going to the dry cleaners, getting your nails done, things like that, um, people that you used to work with or people that you currently are working with. Um, people you went to high school with, people that you went to college with. Um, if you have hobbies, you know, I love to play tennis, you know, people on your tennis team or people in your bridge club. Um, if you like to volunteer, you know, people that you volunteer with. Um, just put it down, just write as many people as you can. I used to always have a little contest with my peop- with people that I bring into business. I say, let's see how many people you can come up with in three minutes. And I'd set a little timer and then have them, and have them race to see how many names they could get on a piece of paper. And make sure that you don't prejudge. You know, 
is not always who you know, that name on that, <laughs> but sometimes it's who they lead to. And I think about when I started my business 24 years ago, the store manager that I had, um, she was very, very broke. She didn't have much money, and uh, she would go to this uh, restaurant every Friday night and uh, eat because it had, it had a free buffet there. And she oh. met somebody that introduced me to her, his sister who introduced me to somebody who led me to Australia. So even though the first three people never really did anything, they led me to somebody who got life-changing results with a knee injury and ended up opening up the country of Australia. And from there we went to New Zealand and England and Philippines and all around the world. So it's, I mean, you never know, uh, you know who that person that you talk to, that next com- that next. A meeting or that next call or that next person that you run into wherever um, is going to lead you to. I used to keep a notepad next to my bed when I first got started with Rila because I would literally, I was so excited that I would wake up in the middle of the night and think, oh, my Aunt Betty, i got to write her name down. And I had a notepad in my car and I'd be driving, I'd be sitting at a stoplight, I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to call, you know, Sarah that I used to work with or you know, I keep a note, and today I still keep a notepad in my purse. And as I think of people, I all, you know, I, I write, jot down their name. I was at the gym the other day, and I ran into a guy I hadn't seen in probably 15 years, and he was telling me about his wife who has rheumatoid arthritis. And so anyway, I, I friended her on Facebook and just had started creating a relationship with her. So, you know, you never stop adding to your list. That's one of the most important things is that, your list is a living list. It's always growing. And I still to this day try to add. Rick, 10 people that you want to contact about the products and 10 people that you're thinking of for the business. And next to their names, write down why you thought of them. Okay, this person has fibromyalgia, or this person has headaches, or this person has cancer, or whatever. Um, And then for the business, you know, this person's daughter is getting married next fall, or this person's getting ready to retire. Write down why you thought of them, because you're going to use that when you connect with them, when you call them. You're going to let them know why you thought of them. So go ahead and get that down on paper. And then the most important thing is to take action. You know, who are you going to contact today? Who are the first five people that you want to contact? Who are going to be your presidents of your company and your vice president? You're not going to start with your janitor. You're not going to start with the, the brokest, sickest people that you know. You want to find people that are successful because if they're successful at something else, they can be successful at Relo. So let's, get, let's find out who we're going to talk to today and let's take action. So that's, when, that's kind of how you find people that you know. But there's a whole lot more people in the world that you don't know. And uh, this is one of my favorite ways to build a real business is what through I call opportune moments. And most of the people that are in my group today that I have sponsored, I didn't even know before Relove. Just people that I've met when I was out and about listening and paying attention and just, just a- asking questions. Um, I think of somebody named Austin McGonigal that I met when I was going from the airport to my car after a trip that I was coming back from, and we were on that little that little bus that takes you to your car, and we just started you know talking, and I was listening to what he was saying, and I was asking him questions about him, and I was just being interested in him, and we ended up exchanging business cards, and it was on the weekend, and on Monday I called him and I said, you know what, I'd love to get together with you and just find out a little bit more about you. And, um, and we had to go have lunch. And so we did. And so we went and had lunch, and I sat there, and I asked him about him. And guess what? He turned around, he started asking me about me and what I do. And he ended up getting on the products that day. And he never really did too much with the business, but he introduced me to Ann Metz that day because they worked in the same office. And he invited Ann and Mark Metz to our Christmas party that was coming up. And they loved the people, they loved the atmosphere, and ended up becoming distributors right away, became master affiliates, and now Anna and Mark Metz are two of the top ambassadors in the company. So that didn't cost me a thing. I was just paying attention to what was going on around me. I was listening, I was asking questions, and I was being interested in Austin. So um, people are telling you all day long that they're tired, they're overweight, they're broke, they're in pain. 
and you have a great opportunity to you know write write them down on your list. And you know, I think one of the most important things is to develop a connection with people. You know, this is not a convincing business. It's a connecting business. And you want to make friends with people. You want to care about people and, and uh, make it about them. So um, I know I've, I've been so many times with, with um, distributors that, you know, will go sit down at a restaurant and they just start blah, 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 blah about relive, you know. Ask people questions about them. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And if you get to know people and find out about them and find out what their hot buttons are, and, and then you will always have an opportunity where Relive will have the chance to come up. Or maybe not that day. Maybe it's something that, you know, I mean, I have met so many people that I don't talk to about Relive for, for weeks or maybe even months. I'm just becoming their friend and getting to know them. The other thing that's important is to be visible. You know, um, I love what Sherry Selma, she never leaves her house without having her Relive name tag on it, and she has got so many customers and distributors off of her name tag. Um, I have a button that I wear, a little pin that says 24-7, and it just ask, you know, people ask me all the time, you know, what's 24-7? I say, I earn money 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Are you interested? And almost everybody I ask that to says, yeah, I'm interested. Give me your name and number, and I'll be glad to give you a call back. I can't talk to you right now, but give me your name and number, and I'll call you back, and we can talk about it. You know, we've got some great shirts. They've got, you know, pins. and Some people have car signs. I have a license plate that says, To Relive. So just be the Relive girl or the Relive guy. You know, you should always, when you walk out the door, have something that says Relive on you. And then there's all different kinds of networking opportunities now. I would research what networking groups are in your area. Um, there's, there's networking groups for breakfast, lunch, dinner. I'm a member of Rotary. And even though I didn't join Rotary to, to really help my real business because it's a service organization and not really supposed to sell your, sell your products or, or your business, I mean, I've created so many friendships there that, you know, when I see these people outside of our meetings, we're always talking, and I've gotten so many customers and several distributors. So network on purpose. And, you know, people are not going to be coming up and knocking on your door and asking you what you do for a living. you got to get out of your house. If your phone is not ringing or you don't have people to talk to, get out of your house and go find people. You know, join a gym, uh, volunteer somewhere. Start a hobby, but the most important thing is to, to be visible and, and have fun. And nobody comes off your list. Your list is a circle, not a straight line, because everything changes in people's lives. People's time, the timing changes, their situations change, the health picture changes, their financial picture changes, people's marital status changes, um, people lose their jobs, people retire. So um, I, I always say a no today is not a no forever because I had one of my brothers that watched me for a year, and after he saw me open up the country of Australia, he's like, okay, I'm, I'm interested in finding out more about Relive. And uh, so he joined a year after watching me for a year. My other brother watched me for 16 years. And when Success From Home magazine came out with a feature on Relive, he watched that DVD, and he worked for BP, and he saw Raul Paredes, who worked for Texaco, um, and, and he, then he got excited, and he became a master affiliate the very next day after seeing that DVD. So, and then one of my girlfriends, from my best friends from middle school and high school, just got started in January this year after me being involved for 24 years. So, you know, a no, for, a no today is not a no forever, and if you just – care about people and love people and make it about them and be interested in them, the timing will be right eventually. So your call to action is to go to the website, download Making Your List under the Identify tab, and fill it out. It doesn't matter if you've been in the business for two hours or if you've been in the business for 20 years. It is a new day in Relive, and there are so many exciting things that are going on with the epigenetics and the lunar rich and all the studies. And oh my gosh, we have Steve Hastings and, and um,
Did we lose? Did we lose Julie? Oh dear. I lost you. <laughs> oh, good. You're there. All right. Good. Good. Can you All hear right. Me? Yes. I was yes. Disconnecting. I had a. Um, I had a, a a great opportunity to share that call recently, and I thought everything that Mindy shared in that call is exactly what we, we need to be reminded of today. So I hope you enjoyed that 10 minutes of inspiration from Mindy, who built a six-figure income and an international business in her first year. And, you know, I, I was telling somebody else, you know, it doesn't happen that way for for most of us, but don't ever think you won't. Don't ever think that because – in our in our business it's just a matter of time you know and you're going to reach the right people so that's why you want to have your vision right before your right before you and and really see draw out where you want to be and how relive is going to help you get there um with men of that happening and i know i i've inspired many um and you will too and you have already done that by your just your story already that's that's in progress we're all stories in progress why not make real of a household name in the next five years it is possible in fact um i'm excited because i know relive is working on modernizing uh, more online presence for us so that that way as distributors we can um you will have a, a bigger name and people will want to know more about it. So you want to be really proactive. We all want to be that way in our real business because the company is doing some, making some changes right now so that we all have a level playing field and we're more, the opportunities are going to be just enormous. Um, so get your seatbelt on because we're going to the moon, you guys. Um, all right. So let's talk about, you know, some of the things Mindy touched on for a minute. Um, I I have to say I'm very thankful that I never crossed anybody off my list because one of those people approached me the early part of this year when I actually, this is a master affiliate that I sponsored, we're talking, gosh, 10 years And we just sort of lost touch and we ran into each other and then she really appreciated the the hug and the exchange, I mean, I just treated her like I would have wanted to be treated. And from that, she called me later. Not only did she get back on the product and become a distributor, she called me later to invite me to a networking group. And at that, after she became a master affiliate again. And because of that connection and not crossing her off the list, she has led me to so many people. In fact, it created a bonus. Uh, that I earned in the month of April this year. Um, so I, I just so grateful that I didn't think, oh, she didn't work out. She's off the list. No, people come back. In fact, I'm just going to touch on that because so many of us that have been around a while, um, we just need to remember that we are still the voice of relive. We are relive. I've had two more people come back in as distributors with serious intentions because I never quit. And they know Relive worked, and they were just sorry they stopped. So I hope that inspires you because Relive is the answer, I believe, for optimal health and lifestyle. Um, she mentioned opportune moments. Pay attention. That's a good one because – and be visible. I was wearing my Relive shirt in the grocery store not long ago, and a guy kind of commented on that, but I wasn't – like I was in a rush, I wasn't in a position to talk to him. I thought, oh, I missed that. I wasn't able to climb with him, and I really should have. So pay attention to your surroundings. Don't be in a rush when you're out and about. Visible, have your relive shirt on, and you'll see what happens. And I also bought a relive pin. They've got really cool ones at the at, in the store. I bought one, and that's another way that people can look at you and go, what do you do? What is that? Uh, so. Always make it about them. I love what she said that a couple of times. Connecting um, people to other people, of course, is, is the is the plan after you identify um, and get that person on the list. You're going to connect them. But always make it about them. It's not about us and our agenda. It's um, So it's, it's a great thing that this business doesn't grow unless we really help people with what they really, really need and want. 
and we want to do this on purpose, we need to find new people. Um, I've been doing more uh, just in my community. I'm involved in my church with music. I'm getting involved in another group involved with music. I'm meeting new people that way because we're going to be doing stuff in, in nursing homes soon. And I'm excited that I get to meet people through that. Um, also, I'm involved in my son's disability program. I'm meeting people that way. I'm also uh, just joined a a little networking opportunity in my neighborhood. It's called Next Door. You may, you may or may not have that application in your area, but for me, a couple of times people have told me to join it, and it's a chance to meet neighbors and and find out what's going on in your community right right in your area. And I just recently connected with a a business owner, and now we're talking. So you always want to be on purpose and make new friends wherever you go. And you know what will happen is it's kind of a neat problem. You'll end up having so many people, and you'll have this excitement from your heart that is contagious. <laughs> and, and then before you know it, you have all these people swirling around in your mind, people that you got to write down, because if you don't write them down on your list, you're going to forget. So that's a good problem to have. And that's actually what I'm going through right now. I've been through some, some family dynamics in the last month that have kept me from being able to focus and relive as much as I'd like. And, but I've had all these people, these opportune moments. Now I need to write them down and be really intentional about my next steps and what I'm going to do. So that, that brings us to the next thing. And, of course, connecting. And uh, you want to make sure that you're brand, you know, especially if you're brand new, you're talking to your, your mentor because you're not going to just start connecting people to the website. That's a big no-no. Um, when you do that, people don't get what they need. Um, but what you do want to do is set up a time to meet with them. Set an appointment. That is always the goal because that's where the answers get that's where people get their answers, and that's where people get the stories they need to hear. Uh, we're always connecting people to the stories that to help them make the next step of decision. And uh, let's go to sharing the Rita's story. And, of course, that can happen through different uh, tools that are available in Relive. And it's funny, I've gone back and forth with webinars and online and, and opportunity books. It's funny, it seems like lately just having a cup of coffee, sitting down with somebody and using the book has been the best way for me because it's just easy. Um, but I love that I have videos in my phone that I could use, especially for stories. Um, I have stories. And whenever I'm sharing the real story, I always attach stories. I was just doing a presentation yesterday uh, right here in my area where we didn't know anybody. It was, it was an opportune moment to do this in a community center. And um, I started sharing about Relive and the history and then the products. And I realized that people were kind of not engaged. And I thought, oh, no. And I started sharing stories attached to each product. And that's when people got really excited. So always remember even if it's just one or two things about, about the products, about what they've done, that will bring people uh, to a place of making a decision. And we did. We had a lot of people making decisions yesterday. So let's move on and talk about um, asking for decision. You know, and again, it comes back to you taking ownership of your business. Uh, we, we connect people, but then we need to finally say, hey, where do you see yourself getting started? Um, I always like to ask on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, where do you see yourself uh, with the products or with your health? On a scale of 1 to 10, what do you think about the business? And when people give me their answer, if it's a 5 or higher, I know that they're going to be even more interested in doing something bigger beyond themselves. And so I put a star next to that person's name on my list. I, every time I, I hear... Yes, I am open to making more income. Yes, I am interested in helping my friends, or I know somebody who needs this. Or, um, yeah, I, I'm tired of my situation. I'd like to not have to work a regular job. I'd like to have more freedom. Whatever those comments are as at that appointment, and I'm ready for. I'm asking for a decision. Um, sometimes what I'll say is, well, you did mention that you have somebody else in your family or your, or your friend. 
if, if I were you, I would consider coming in as a distributor. Um, sometimes you just have to nudge people a little bit and let them know the reasons why that would be such a good idea. And I'll say how that that, that will be the first step to helping that other person, and, uh, it, and that way we can do it as a team, and you're not alone in this. So people need to know that. It's funny, I was at a networking presentation uh, a couple days ago, and, you know, the questions are always asked, um, you know, well, you know, everybody gives us their – their potions or magical potions that this stuff really, you know, is the best thing going on and what makes you different. And <laughs> I know what I did. I got up and I shared the question with the group and I said, you know what makes us different? I come with the program. I am here to help you. I get to be a part of this whole success story you'll become and I'm going to help you get there. That's all about you and what you need. And so people loved it. They loved that I took the time to say, I can help you. And that's what we get to do. We get to say, I am with you all the way so that you are successful, whether it's just enjoying better health and getting off those medications or if you want to reach out, make a difference, or if you want to turn this into a serious, unlimited business, you, you know, I am here for you. All right, so it talks about, of course, being prepared, in which we know we need to be. Um, always have some supplies on hand. Um, don't go into an appointment without the necessary tools you need. Um, just be ready. Be ready. You know, I also um, love that Relive has made it a little bit easier on social media um, to, you know, get the, the app. You can have it right on your phone, a Relive international app that I now have and then it goes straight to my uh, site so that I can sign somebody up immediately at the appointment. Um, so if, you, if you've been paying attention to some of our emails, um, they gave that information out. Also, there's recently been that has talked about some social media tips and how important it is uh, to pay attention to those tips so that you're, um, you know, you're, you're attracting people and not the opposite. All right, I'm getting off track a little bit here. So um, I know last week you got into detail on register and go and how important it is uh, to help people get started and help them move forward. And, you know, one thing I'll mention, some, uh, a big mistake I've made over the years is spending too much time with people that aren't going anywhere. Uh, you know, you can paint a picture. You can plug people into the Relive system. You can do all kinds of things to help them really get going. But, they have to show Did we lose her again? We might I think her. so. Oh, yeah, she's. I, she might have gone into. I'm, I'll just text her. Man, she's such a great trainer. <laughs> oh yes. She's so good. She's so good. So I good, want. Training. So good. So good. So good. So good. <laughs> okay, I'm just. Uh, I don't think she knows. She might have moved somewhere. That. Okay. Hopefully, she she's awesome. <laughs> we want every word. Poor thing. I imagine she's probably still talking, exactly. thinking we're listening. Yeah, she is. Probably. And with great enthusiasm, too. And we here we are, like, on the edge of our seats, like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> what is it next? Yeah. Um, okay. Let me see if I can get through to her. <laughs> nope, she's she's still talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <clears throat> Thank you for being well, the go between. <laughs> you're welcome. Although I think, um, oh bless her heart, I I think we're just going to move on. 
So if she's still talking, will the recording catch us or her? No, the recording's catching us. She's off. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. She's she's having to. I'm gonna three. I'm gonna. Oh dear. How can I get her in? She says her phone won't let her in. So oh. hang on. Yeah. Let me call her. Three way her in. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to three-way her in. I just have to figure out how to do that now. You can do it, Louise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I you know guys... you can. <laughs> you can... Hi, Louise. <laughs> okay, hi. <laughs> let, me, let me merge you, okay? So hang on. Okay, thank you. Okay. Are we back? I don't know. Well, hang on. I can hear both of you. Oh, good. Okay. I'll shut up. It's kind of, it's kind of like it's at a distance. Yeah, sounds like she's in a tunnel. Now maybe. Can any? Okay, let's try it over again, Julie. Okay, did was was everybody able to hear us at all? Yeah, but she sounded like she was in a in a tunnel. Okay, so let me call her and then I'll and then I'll connect us. So, hang on. Oh, that's better. Okay, I think we're okay. Can you hear me? There, both of you. <laughs> Little echo. So gross. I hope you can. Well, I apologize for that, guys. I'm just in a hotel, and I don't know what happened, but I wasn't able to call back in. But here's, we're just about f finished up now, and I just want to um, ask any, you know, we're talking about all these elements of building a serious real business, and as you're thinking of what can you do today? I'd really like to address any questions there might be while uh, we're finishing this up. So, uh, of course, it's about each of us working together individually, of course, with what we know we need to do, but also together as a team, we are huge. We, we can change the world. So uh, if there's any questions, I'd really like to open things up. Uh, do they have to hit star six for that? Yes, they do. Okay, okay. you want to click star six if you have any questions or comments? Um, okay. Great training. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad that it, you appreciated it. Um, I have to say that our trainings have blessed me so much uh, over the years. Without these trainings, I wouldn't be here right now. Um, they are so important to plug into because they just energize us. They, they sharpen us. They help us 
really know where we need, what we need to do today. I have to say that I think the thing that I'm working on now um, more than anything is, is, is allowing, allowing myself to see a bigger vision because I think we just, many of us don't go any further because we only see so far, but let your mind dream, let your heart dream, and then put actions to your steps so that your dream can become a reality. That's, that's huge right there. Um, for me, uh, I, my dreams have definitely, I, I have, I just, just now discovering what they really are and it's taken me a lifetime, but it's, What's great is we're positioned today and we live to, to really make those dreams happen. And it's all about plugging in. It's about not giving up and, make, you know, working every day at this business and allowing yourself to, you know, make mistakes and get back up again and, and move forward again because that's how life is. It's sort of like life anyway. You know, we... This is how we live grows. We, we grow as we work it and we make mistakes, but then we become better people because of those mistakes. Julie, could oh, we talk about some of the that. events coming up? Oh, that'd be great. Yes. Good idea. Okay, so we have our Anaheim conference coming up April 20th through 21st, and Boy, oh boy, that'll be such a wonderful time. Um, I love that it's right here in our neck of the woods uh, for those of us in the, the West Coast. And we're going to have so much fun and envision how many people you want with you. I think all of us can do that and have fun with it. Let it unfold. But I know for all of us, if we work really hard today, you know, and, and we have another great opportunity to work hard because of the Puerto Vallarta challenge we have coming up. Um, in fact, we're in the middle of that right now, and we had a great example in Kimberly Burns who earned the number one uh, number one spot on the challenge. She earned the 5,000 bonus, and she, she had the five master affiliates sign up and then the 10 quick starts. Um, fantastic challenge to go for. And for me, I'm working on it. And we still have a good over two months before this challenge is, is over. And so we can really achieve the goals necessary to reach that challenge if we have a vision, um, if we see this happening. And we'll, you'll find a way. You'll bring your thoughts up to that vision, um, and you'll find a way to make it happen as long as you see it before it happens. <clears throat> so anybody want want to share what they're doing to achieve any of their goals right now? I guess not. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Well, I'm excited because we live is truly, truly making some um, positive steps for our future and you can rest assured that you're going to be we are all going to see some incredible things over the you know, just around the corner um, right now just really take it to heart with the list and how you can move forward with that list work with your mentor work with an accountability partner I have one okay I have an accountability partner we just talked a couple of days ago because without that accountability it's really hard to stay on track it's, it's much like, you know, going to the gym and having a goal. And if you don't have a trainer watching you and making sure you're on track, you're not going to reach the goal nearly as well or as fast. So if you want to make the, your goals happen fast um, and you, wanna, you don't want to miss the mark, then have an accountability partner, ideally your upline. Um, and if you don't have much help there, then go to a sideline person who's been successful, who you can really connect with and be honest with. That's the key, too, is honesty. So I'm going to get ready for our Super Saturday out here in the Dublin Pleasanton area, and we're so excited. We've got a lot of new people coming, and we get to share the heart of Relive, and we get to help paint the picture for their future. So I'm going to sign off, and everybody have a beautiful weekend. Looking forward to seeing you soon in Anaheim.
Thank you so much, Julie. Awesome Thanks, job. Julie. Thank you. Have a great day. Have a great weekend.